Now for the conclusion of the heart of the hunter. Well, here we are, high in the hills above Cessnock, where competitors will travel along this short piece of dirt road. Great piece of road here. Nice quality piece of dirt road amongst the wine growing area. Very picturesque sort of location as competitors travel this route. Big Mustang there. Very, very windy day here today for the competitors to uh, to live through. Plays havoc with our sound recording equipment. But uh, the weather is not something that uh, organisers has any control over. Volvo there, classic car. And another classic rally car, the Peugeot 504. Competitors are coming through here on a fairly regular basis, um, meaning the field hasn't got spread out too far. Peter the Revs Meadows here with Liz Meadows in the navigating seat in their Renault 12. And the Corbett's here in their, their BMW. Al Maloney there in the, the big P76. What a wonderful machinery that is. Modern uh, Subaru Impreza there. The Heart of the Hunter is certainly one of the great events of the AHRG calendar. Extremely well organised by Jeff Thomas and the crew certainly worth competing in every year. If you're only going to go in one event, this is the one you need to go in. Great roads of the Hunter Valley, plus great organising. It's certainly the event of choice. Great to see so many classic cars out and about. Uh, something that uh, we should see more of. Throughout the event, competitors uh, need to report to various control points. Here we are at a uh, M control. Somewhat tricky location to find. Most competitors seem to locate it. No one edited it from the wrong direction. Ian Packard here in his trusty 504 Peugeot. Former winner of the Heart of the Hunter. Checking into the control point. Another BMW here. This control point located a lot later in the day and the field has become somewhat more spread out, which is to be expected. Big Mustang here, real muscle car. other end of the spectrum, the Volvo. Bit of the Revs Meadows here with the uh, little Renault 12. I think these style of events are somewhat underrated for uh, competitors. They may well be a fairly simple event to go in. But at the end of the day, it's all really about getting out there and, and using that classic car and Driving it around the countryside, marks the Leyland brothers.
it does offer more of a, a challenge or at least a little bit more of an interest to uh, participate in one of these events um, as against just uh, driving in a convoy to have a picnic. So it's good to see a big field of competitors here at the heart of the hunter. Preza, WRX, all singing, all dancing machine there. The uh, high windy day is certainly causing havoc with our sound recording equipment. Competitors are arriving a little bit more regularly now. Here. Or is it? No, it's a Ford Escort. What am I talking about? My goodness, the brain's in meltdown here. Black BMW. My good. From here, competitors will be heading to the Potter's Brewer at uh, Cessna for the, uh, the finish of the Heart of the Hunter. I'm sure a great time was had by all competitors. Mayo here. Certainly there's a cross section of car manufacturers contesting this year's Heart of the Hunter. This is Mazda Rotary. Unique sound to the Mazdas. Huge 0504 here. Once competitors got to the finish at the Potter's Brewery, they uh, parked up and uh, waited for the results. And that's about it from me and the Heart of the Hunter for 2013. Bye for now. This has been Quackback Ballard. Bye for now.